Hi all, second video of the night, this is going to be a quick launch video slash intro to Tactical Jackalope's uh, reconnaissance or recce group build. Uh, I'm going to be tilt. I'm going to be building these. These are uh, Master Boxes US Infantry, July of 1945, um, number MB3521. Beautiful little set. So I'm going to be depicting uh, an infantry section doing a foot patrol or a combat patrol being hit up by Germans doing the same. I'm not going to be displaying the Germans, but I am just going to be telling you. So very, very beautiful poses. I particularly like um, the guy here dragging his wounded com comrades to safety. Chap here throwing a smoke grenade and the other guy discharging his M1 Garand. Uh, back of the box. Okay, so we have some pictures of the build-up models, painting guide of build-up models, nice. Sprue call-out, which I think is only a single sprue, with uh, numbered, which is nice. Uh, our colour call-out, which is very nice to see. We have Vallejo, Tamiya, Life Colour, Humbrol and Agama. Never heard of them. So I imagine they're probably some Asian company. So I actually haven't cracked these open, so let's have a dock or have a... Uh, okay. So I got these a few months ago. So we get a single sprue. Okay. I'm actually going to open these up for you. Give you an idea. Let's get this out of the this is. Is it a bag in the bag? What? They bagged within a bag this. I've never seen anyone do this before. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Now isn't that a waste of plastic? Jesus. Okay. We get we get a, a single detail sheet which we'll talk about in a moment. And we'll talk about the main sprues. So it's all in one sprue. This is one of their older figure sets, so I'm not expecting miracles here. Facial detail is pretty blocky. Um, they're not as good as some of their newer stuff. Not bad, there is individualism, good good animation faces, but I'm not too keen on them. We have a little bit of rough moulding kind of flash. Again, nothing too serious though the the molding shovels or not the molding shovels the entrenching tools on their backpacks are a little bit rough M1 Grand seems a bit chunky but um acceptable uh the helmet seem I don't mean yeah the helmets aren't great I'm gonna be replacing these with uh, spares I have in my spares bin um uniform seems pretty nice actually yeah, the uniforms are nice. They are a bit big. Um, I mean, they're very broad chested models, but again, nice detail. Um, casting, the plastic seems a bit kind of rough in texture. Uh, but it uh, should take paint quite nicely, I hope. Backpacks are basic. These are the haversacks. And they have your entrenching tool on top of it, though they are molded separately, of course. Bit of heavy flashing here and there, but none again can't work out. Um, I've seen some of these made up, and they seem to be a bit rigid. So we, I hope I can do kind of get a more fluidness out of these models. So yeah, I'm gonna probably end up replacing the weapons and helmets, and if I can, try with the heads. Okay. So you know, it's, it's all right. They're, these are cheap. These are these are this is a cheap set and it's inexpensive so you get what you pay for um, I can see myself replacing a lot of the equipment like this is going to be a map case and it's bloody massive yeah so I'm going to have to replace quite a bit of this but this is the the nice thing this is what I liked you get a decal sheet, a small decal sheet um, 
They're a little bit glossy. Again, not I'm not gonna shit on it too much. Um so you get markings for the first infantry division, the twenty ninth infantry, with the spiral symbol for their helmets and um arm flashes. You get which I really like, you get rangers. You get uh second rangers with the helmets. So that's pretty nice. You also get medics. You get the Indian division. I can't think of one another one with the Indian chief head and then the star around it. I can't remember what division they are. You also get a sergeant and a private flash. I think is it one Chevron in the American Army at times a corporal or is it a, a private or a PFC? Can't quite remember. It's a nice little addition. Um, there's oh, there's other little looks here too. Also like medic stuff like I mentioned. Uh, I'm not sure which flashes these belong to. So it's a nice little, uh, nice little thing, addition. Uh, print scale is the company that made these, printed for Master Box Limited. Thoughtfully they come in a, a Ziploc bag to keep the dampness and moisture away, which is good. Now I'm going to, for this bill, I'm just going to go in a small little finette. Uh, I have this bag here of goodies, which I salvaged from my bits box which all American equipment I'm going to probably end up replacing a lot of the equipment as much as possible with this so let's see what I got I'm sure everything is in this so I got a Garand from one of their, their newer sets uh, RIP Master Box uh, ammunition pouches I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use one of the D DS heads from uh, Dragon's Ranger Premium Ranger set, I'm going to use that instead. Uh, what else do I have here? A gas mask case, that's kind of redundant because uh, at this point the gas mask cases were discarded. Uh, MG mag for the, the uh, or SNG mag. That's kind of cool, I like that heifer sack with the. It's basically uh, from an old Dragon Paratrooper set, as I might actually use this one instead, I like this. It's uh, basically a haversack, uh, or rucksack more so, with two um, bazooka round tubes in it. I might actually include that. First aid pouches. Of course, one of the more American helmets. They're probably in my bits bag box. Uh, I'm going to replace some helmets as well, and replace heads. I got some nice helmets here from a Gen 2 set from Dragon. Uh, I also want to replace. Um, a few of the weapons. I have one grand replaced. Uh, I just need to get three more rifles. Uh, I'm just going to raid my bits box and hope I can find the parts. So we should be okay. So and this is a bit of a kind of went off on a bit of a weird tangent. I'm sorry, but uh, it's always good to kind of see what you have lying around in in the parts bags. So I want to put these back into the the bins. Actually, now that I got you, I see can I do I have any other heads I could use? Or these old German. Oh, another American helmet here I can use. Which is always good. Uh got no bald heads or all German heads, okay. So not to worry, I got a few bits and pieces. The rest of it, so I can go put, put back into the bit my bin because it's not really suited to what I need. So that's basically what we'll be working on. So uh, again, I'm not going to start this until my D-Day group build is finished. I just have to basically take the pictures of the final reveal, and that's that. And I kind of want to finish my painting tutorial figure, but that should only take maybe another day at the latest. Latest, you know, means when I kind of work up the the energy to do it and uh, so thank you for watching as always um, I would recommend this set it is a bit of a rough diamond but with a little bit of TLC maybe replacing the heads with maybe harness heads would be um, a very good step in the right direction with this set um, the price is like I got this for 5 euro you can't beat that like I got this for I think it's 5 or 6 quid on Lucky Model so or no it's 4 euros on Lucky Model so the price alone wins out so thank you for watching, uh, hopefully in the next couple of videos we will be starting this. 
So this is again for tactical jackalopes, reconnaissance, or recce group build. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye bye.